This is the second half of my video review of the live TV recording features of Kodi and Windows Media Center Extender. If you missed the first half of this video, I'll put a link to it in the upper right corner. To wrap up that video, if you set up Server WMC to use the Windows Media Center recording defaults, the stop start time padding, etc., your Kodi recordings will be identical to Windows Media Center. And in Kodi, you can delete single episode or series recordings just like you can in an extender, although it might be a little bit slower. I can go delete, and you could select uh, delete entire series. and it deletes the series. So this half of the video will look into the advanced recording features of Kodi compared to Windows Media Center. One thing you can't do in Kodi is modify an existing recording schedule or timer that was set up in Windows Media Center. So if I click here and maybe I want to change like the priority says the PVR back end does not support this action. So you can't do that. You can't modify anything. You can delete it, you can create it, but you can't change it. So here we're looking at Windows Media Center or an extender should have the same display here. So some of the things that are lacking in Kodi are the more advanced recording features. For example, in Windows Media Center, I can modify an upcoming recording. So I have the cancel and, and do not record options, but I can go into a series and I can change settings. So I can do things like change the, you know, whether I want a new or rerun. I can change the channel and you know various uh, aspects how to save it so it shows me recording several series so you can go in and change priorities of these recordings so this is important if you have limited tuners in your system for example I have four shareable tuners that sounds like plenty I could have four recordings happening at once right well, yes and no. With start-stop time padding on recordings, you can get recordings overlapping, like a 9 to 9.30 recording runs until, say, 9.33, and the 9.30 to 10 recording starts at maybe 9.27. So, what seems like two sequential recordings might actually be simultaneous at least for a few minutes. That could tie up two tuners if those shows are on different channels. And if you don't have a tuner available at the start of recording, that program won't record. Broadcast TV schedules can change so that shows that might have been at different days and times are now on simultaneously. So, the priority of the recording schedule allows you to select which recordings should happen no matter what if you run low on tuners. So the idea with priority is if you wanted to record Dennis the Menace no matter what, you would move that priority up so that the episodes of Dennis the Menace would record first, and if there are tuners left, then it would record Dobie Gillis. And now it shows up as the high priority, so I can, just like in Cody, I can cancel the series. You can see it was much quicker to do in Media Center. And in Media Center, you have the ability to set up recordings in the future for programs that are not yet in the Program Guide or EPG. So I could create a wish list. So this wish list recording lets 
Windows Media Center scan new EPG listings as they come in and if something matches the wish list a recording will be scheduled. So I could come in here maybe and I want to look for say I want to see if there's any upcoming cycling programming. So I could save it's looking for anything with the word cycling in the program guide and tell that to record Ah, and that's where that show that I just deleted came from because apparently that show has the word cycling in the program description. So there's nothing like this at all in Kodi with server at WMC. So it's no contest Windows Media Center or an extender wins for the advanced recording features. It's a toss-up on the basic recording features, however. Whether Kodi would work for you as a Media Center extender replacement comes down to your recording needs. And briefly, let's look at feature number six in my list. That's playing back copy protected or DRM recordings. Now I can't show you that because I use over-the-air TV and the shows I record aren't marked as copy once. But suffice to say, the big missing feature with Kodi is the ability to watch copy once DRM content recorded on the Media Center PC. If the big thing you use your Media Center extender for is to record Game of Thrones on HBO for later viewing, you won't be able to watch those recordings on Kodi. Realize that Media Center is the only option when it comes to building a PC-based cable car DVR as it's the only software licensed by Cable Labs to do this. I covered this in an earlier video. Media Center wins this one because they're the only one playing the game and a Media Center extender is the only way to add additional displays to your Media Center PC. So this will wrap up looking at how Kodi stacks up with the six main Media Center extender features. In the next video I'll look at how Kodi stacks up against Media Center extender on some of the other miscellaneous features and then we can look at the overall scorecard and see how Cody stacks up against a Media Center extender. If anyone has any further thoughts or questions, put that in the comments section below. Perhaps there are tips I haven't run across to make Cody even better. I'm fairly new to Cody myself. Check out some of my other cable cutting and Cody videos in the playlist link. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.